John Boyega, I guess, is in the news again because uh, I remember him talking trash to Disney for the longest time. Yeah. How yep. Um, yep. saying that, you know, my character was supposed to be this, and then you did a switch and bait. Uh, no, no, uh, sorry, not switch and bait and bait, switch bait into switch. me mm -hmm. being an, a, 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 more of a side character. Because to be honest, I thought his character was pretty interesting in uh, The Force Awakens. Right, I'm like, okay, he's gonna be a new, new big character. You don't have to have the force to use how use a lightsaber. It's gonna be pretty awesome, right? And uh, and then of course in the second movie and the third movie, it's they sort of just completely ruin his character. And of course, when they market this, uh, marketed this in China, they completely shrunk his character down to a size of like a thumb stamp, right? It's because mm -hmm. you know um, we got to make sure that the Chinese people, the the, the 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 CCP, the you know the racist CCP people, <laughs> um, make sure that we 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 um, don't show as much black people, which is pretty right. nice. <laughs> but it seems like his uh his wallet and his money his money bags are running dry, his well is running dry because according to Bound in the Comics, John Boyega changes tune now open to return to Star Wars. I I'm open to all opportunities. Yeah, right. Because um, he was really big, all right, during this. And I believe he was even during the whole Black Lives Matter thing. I believe he was like out in like London or whatever, um, you, know, mm. uh, you know, protesting and stuff like that. And then I'm pretty yeah. sure he's out of money. He's like, Shit. <laughs> you know, like I, you know, I, I need more money now. So, um, right. I, I, did, um, did, did you like John Boyega, um, Ryan? Did you like him in Star Wars? Um, not really, to be honest. Um. Uh, I mean, just, you know, th this whole, uh, the whole trilogy, I didn't like, you know, for the most part at all, right? Um, and so the idea of having him back, um, just kind of like, it seems to to nod at that trilogy, which which I don't like, right? You know, I kind of want to just like, you know, do away with that and forget about it. Um, I think his character specifically, um, yeah, like in the second and third movie or, or uh, episode, what is uh, eight and nine, um, you know, it was just, it was pretty much bad. I think in seven, I think it was okay, um, but um, still just like kind of lacking a little bit. Um, you know, he wasn't very like, you know, exciting for me. Um, you know, I wasn't really finding myself trying to root for him too much. I don't know. Um, I don't really blame him so much. I, I think it was more so the writers, you know, uh, for that whole trilogy, really. But um, trilogy, but yeah, I don't know. I, I I wasn't big on him personally. Yeah, like 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 for me, I. I watched the first um, two sequel trilogies. I believe both of them were, um, I think we were at uh, Age of Learning when it happened. And um, and then, uh, what's it called again? Um, and then we, we were watching, I didn't even get to watch the last one. I heard it was just really, really bad. But uh, yeah. Gray, did you, or what about you? Did you like Correct. John Boyega? Yeah, he was okay in uh, Force Awakens. Like they were building him up to be like, yeah, he was first used with the Empire. Then eventually he would be with their the Republic, then he's training to be a Jedi. Then it just went downhill starting The Last Jedi. Yeah. Then, yeah. I, I don't even remember what happens in Rise of Skywalker. But yeah, it's it's really bad. It, it's it's really it's terrible for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Um before we continue, let's go ahead and read the super chat really quick. So Matthew Martinez says for ten dollar super chat, uh Barbie and Ken from uh from Toy uh, to uh, Toy Story are literally better portrayed. Yes, yeah, I actually absolutely. really like absolutely. Barbie yes. and Ken from Toy Story. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Boyega is an above-average actor who got screwed. Unfortunately, he's a below-average person. Damn. Yeah. Yes. That that, that that pretty much hits it. That's it. Yeah. Let's see. All right. All right let's read this article. Let's see. Actor John Boyega, who played Finn in the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy, recently changed his tune on whether he would return to Star Wars franchise. Recently, declaring he's open to all opportunities. Um, before I move forward, um, I actually. Um, a close friend of mine, Cody, his his friend actually auditioned for this role as well. Oh wow! Yeah, but they need they wanted a I believe I'm not sure if it's true, but they wanted a black person, and his friend wasn't black. Um, I'm not wow. sure if that's true, but yeah, his but they both um went for the role of Finn, and he didn't get it. Um, dang. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I think that's interesting, um, but I think so. So, so just really quick, when it comes to like you know like race stuff, and especially with race swapping, um, you know, with with original characters, if it's like truly original, then I think that um, you should take race out. So I think that in this situation, 
uh, them saying, oh, we want like, you know, you know, a black character or a certain race. Um, you know, if the other person, you know, what was better at like the role and, and all this kind of stuff, but they just did that because of a skin color, then I'd be like, that's that's lame and that's not OK. Um, but that's different. Right. From I don't know how you guys felt about The Little Mermaid. For me, oh. um, I have a big I, I had a big problem with that be, because you're messing with the originals. And, and that is a clear example of race swapping, which I just think is just overall just bad. So um so yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for. Uh, I think you said it was it was your friend. Um, I, I think that's very unfortunate, man. That that sucks. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, be, w- w- one more thing. Um, so I I have a um, uh, a coworker, and he's uh, I believe he um, he he, he used to play uh, he used to play one of the VR troopers. So that's like if you guys don't know what that is, it's like another like Power Rangers type thing, and he used to play one of the VR troopers, and okay. uh, he was auditioning for another role. That they want they 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 wanted to, um the role is to be for a um a, 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 a black uh, black person or African African American person, and he went for the role. He was good for the role. He needed a person who knows he knows martial arts, and he's tall and he has a, he he has you know he has good physique, but his uh, agent says that they didn't go with him because he wasn't black enough, because he's light. Black. Skin. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's yeah, ridiculous, man. Yeah, and th- and this was like twenty years ago, so it's a this 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 goes back, right? It's not recent that this happened. Wow, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I I think it's it's just awful, man. Um, I mean, and and then even just that term, right? Like, you know, if if you if you put on the on the sign or whatever, um, like, hey, we're looking for a person, and you have to be at least this dark. Like, at least be upfront about it, but don't have people going in there, you know, pouring in their passion, their time, their effort, and then they get turned away because of that. Then, like, that that's just a waste. Like, that's, wow. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Like, like for me, like, I, I wonder if it's, like, you know, like, you're looking for an Asian actor. Like, how Asian do you have to be? My eyes are pretty small, so I'm pretty much a shoo-in. But, like, <laughs> you know, how yellow does my skin need to be, right, in order for me to be to, to be to play this character, right? Like, if I wanted to play Shang-Chi, you know, will, will I actually get the role over, you know, uh, Simu Liu? You know, I don't know martial arts. You know, my skin's pretty pretty jaundice-like. My eyes are pretty small. You know, I could be a good Shang-Chi. But uh, it's, you know, Hollywood is going to be Hollywood. But, uh, but um, let's go ahead and continue. Yeah. Wow. See, in, in November 2019, Boyega responded to a Twitter user who posted, uh, John Boyega is the most useless character in the current <laughs> Star Wars franchise, but you don't hear uh, him say anything at how bad that writing is, right? So, so who said it? That's so funny. Uh, see, I have those discussions on set. Oh, damn. So he actually did respond to him. Let's see. Uh, back in 2020, Boyega spoke with GQ about his experience in the Star Wars trilogy, where he uh, lampooned Lucasfilm, saying they sought to bring out a black character, market them to be much more important in the franchise than they are, and then uh, have them push to the side. Is not good. Yeah. Uh, I'll say it straight up. Yeah, I agree because I thought he was he was going to play a bigger character. I really did right. like the fact that like he broke out of the mode of oh crap, you know I'm. I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm one of these like stormtroopers, right? So I, 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 he broke out of the mold and he sort of became his own person, and that, that's a really cool story for him. And I thought, like, exactly like what he said, I thought he was gonna be, he's gonna be playing a bigger role. And of course, mm-hmm. um, he, uh, of course, a terrible Asian driver hits him in the second movie, and then he kisses him, right? And it makes sense for a terrible <laughs> Asian driver. To- <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because Rose crazy. ran into him. Right. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, I digress. Um, he continued, <laughs> like, you guys knew what to do with Daisy Ridley. You knew what to do with Adam Driver. You knew what to do with these other people. But when it came to Kelly Marie Tran, when it came to John Boyega, you uh, you know fuck all. Yeah. So what do you say to me? Uh, what do you, uh, sorry, what uh, do you want me to say? What they want you to say is, I enjoyed being a part of it. It was a great experience. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it will take that deal when it's a great experience, he said. Uh, they gave all the nuance to Adam Driver, all the nuance to Daisy Ridley. Let's be honest. Daisy knows this. Adam knows this. Every what well, Everybody knows this. I'm not exposing anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, this is um, this is like but but now that he wants back, that's that's a crazy part. Saying all of these things, you think do you think Star Wars is going to bring him back? 
<laughs> no, probably not. Nope. Yeah, it's, like it's sort of like, are they going to like I mentioned this before? Are they going to bring back Scar uh, Scarlett Johansson because Scarlett Johansson sued Disney mm. for putting her mm. movie in Disney Plus, right? That's right. Right. So, are they going to bring back uh, Black Widow? And now, now Black Widow is dead. She's going to stay dead. Let's see. Um, uh, he said, being in a big franchise, it's kind of like luxury jail sometimes for an actor when you want to do something else. The actor elaborated oh. because remember in a franchise, you're working on one character for many years, which can starve your other muscles. Uh, now speaking with Tech Radar, Boyega acknowledged his past comments saying that those comments were a few years ago. So they were the subject of that particular project. However, he noted he's now open to returning to Star Wars, but I'm open to all uh, characters and scripts that are enjoyable, have a great cast attached, and a uh, terrific uh, director. So yeah, I'm open to all opportunities. I, I think um, Ryan Johnson uh, probably screwed the pooch. Like I would say if uh, was it J.J. Abrams was in charge of the entire thing, he might have gotten the bigger part. Because mm -hmm. Ryan Johnson basically wanted to change the outcome of the entire story and uh it's yeah in terms of just probably like ruined his character altogether right um do you, do you think that if jj abrams was in charge of the entire thing it his character would have been better written i would i would say yes um because it would have been a better story overall which means better writing which means the characters would have been utilized utilized in a better uh you know more appropriate way um yeah and like i, I agree with the the dude who had the super chat i don't think that um you know uh john is a bad actor i think that his character was just absolutely sloppy in this you know in this trilogy um so i also wouldn't be opposed to to john like you know getting another role inside of star wars um you know uh j just not this character i, I don't really want to see this character much more so that that's how yeah. I feel. Like it's like 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 let's move on. But the thing is, uh, we we are getting uh, a Ray Skywalker trilogy. So yeah, that was announced. Um, is that is that confirmed? Is that real? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. I mean, if, if that's the case, then I feel like we're probably gonna have to see you know some aspect of this character of John's character. I did not really. That are you kidding me, man? That's <laughs> wild. But I but feel given like that's not Disney's, smart. Yeah, given Disney's financial situation, though, will it push through in its entirety? For me, that's that's exactly that's the question right now. Yeah, I don't think it's. I doubt it's, it. It's one hundred percent on the nail, given Disney's fi finances. Yeah, that Let's that say, does not sound sustainable. Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's see. Uh, Boyega's comments come in the wake of Lucasfilm announcing the return of Daisy Ridley for the film that's set around 15 years after the Rise of Skywalker at Disney. Uh, sorry, at Star Wars Celebration 2023. A press from Lucasfilm announced Kathleen Kennedy uh, then revealed that Star Wars will head into the future with a new fe uh, feature set uh, 15 years after the last events of the Skywalker saga. Shareem Obaid uh, Chinoy uh, will tell the story of rebuilding the new Jedi Order and the powers that rise to uh, to tear it down. The director then delighted fans by welcoming D uh, Daisy Ridley to the stage, confirming she will be reprising her role, sorry, reprising her role uh, as a beloved Rey Skywalker in the upcoming movie. It's quite possible Boyega is now uh, angling uh, to try to get a role in the film. Yeah, I think the fact that, um, that they're bringing them back, because maybe Boyega thought that it was a one and done. You know, right. um, after after these three movies, I'm not going to be in the movies anymore. But when he heard, he's like, oh, they're going to continue with the, you know, Ray Skywalker stuff. Mm, I want to be a part of it. Maybe they good can point. retcon my character to make it better. Right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't think of it that way. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. And he's probably, like I said, he probably, he's probably out of money by now. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, yeah. <laughs> that's the more obvious one. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, what do you make of uh, Boyega's changing his tune and declaring he's now open up to returning to the Star Wars franchise? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think um, he's like, hopefully, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, w w with him bad-mouthing them that, that badly and publicly, too, it's, it's you, you know, like, you're, you're trying to save face and stuff like that, but, like, you, you're, you've done a lot of damage. And this, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is his first 
like big Hollywood film that he worked on. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely on the same boat as you, uh, Ryan. Like, I, I really hope that they did stop. Like, okay, just get this out of the way. Let's move on to other Star Wars stuff that we can actually talk about. But I think um, a lot of like, like, like we mentioned before, a lot of Star Wars can't be, in my opinion, I don't think Star Wars can be saved now. Like, I think. Oh my goodness, so man! Bad. Right. Um. Oh man. Where, where, where do I begin? Um. So I'll try and make this brief, somewhat. Uh, it's been ruined a lot. There's a lot of bad things that they have tacked onto it now, and at this point, I feel like it's been like spoiled a lot. Um. You know, I, I love Star Wars as a whole. You know, especially obviously the the original. Um. You know, older stuff. Um. Moving forward, I think that um. So I, you know, that's my first time reading that article. Uh. Moving forward, about 15 years or so. Um. I maybe I have hope that they can like, you know, make enough changes to where they can kind of bring in like a brand new story. Um, and then maybe the older characters uh, from the new trilogy won't be as involved. And then they can kind of in that way sort of start fresh. Um, I would, you know, I think ideally if they retconned all of that, you know, the trilogy and it just didn't exist, you know, for me, that's, that's what I would want. But if you, if you, if you have to keep that, then just, you know, try and push it ahead a little bit and then just, you know, try and do something from the ground up. Um, you know, that's, that's the best I can think of. And then I think even in that way, right. If, if they do it, you know, if they push it ahead, then having Daisy Ridley or I'm sorry, having, um, you know, some of the original characters uh, still there, um, they don't have to have like as big of a role. If you, if you, you know, if you try and do something new. So, um, you know, I feel like maybe we could have some hope, but yeah, man, it, it, it has suffered a lot of damage and it's such, um, you know, it, it's heartbreaking, man. You know, you know, we, we, we love Star Wars. There, there's so much goodness in it. There's so much lore. There's so many things that they could have taken from, um, you know, some of the older stories and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it could have been so good. And I feel like, it, you know, they kind of dropped the ball, unfortunately. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.